Today I'd like to talk to you about the new dollar value updates that are coming on May 31st to the Angus Genetic Evaluation. Uh, Angus dollar values have been around since 2004 and have served the industry very well, uh, but the organization felt it was time to update the dollar values with improved models and, and uh, better characterized cattle for today's economic conditions. Part of the uh, impetus to, to update dollar values came first from the 2016 Long Range Strategic Plan, uh, where one of the uh, action items under genetics was uh, to provide updated economic indexes, uh, but also then a survey that was part of the index project completed by over 3,000 uh, participants gave us uh, very useful feedback on how both Angus breeders and their commercial customers use these dollar values in their breeding programs. There will be a number of changes implemented on May 31st of this year. Uh, starting with the dollar B, there will be a new economic model uh, that better characterizes things like endpoint and dressing percent. Uh, it also shifts a bit more emphasis toward marbling and, and not quite as much emphasis on growth, although it still rewards higher performing, faster gaining cattle. Uh, but as we see greater premiums for, for prime and CAB carcasses, uh, those underlying values shift some of the emphasis toward uh, Angus cattle that produce higher quality carcasses. While the, the changes in dollar B won't be quite as noticeable because the old and new dollar Bs are highly correlated, you will notice a uh, bigger change on the maternal side. Uh, while we're continuing to produce dollar W with the economic model uh, currently used, we're also unveiling a new dollar M, a maternal wean calf value that adds a number of additional traits that have been in the Angus genetic evaluation for several years, but never included in any of the indexes. The new dollar M, I think, does a much better job of characterizing the efficiency of the maternal side of beef cattle production. There are a couple of redundant values that we'll be uh, removing from the Angus genetic evaluation, specifically dollar QG and dollar YG. Uh, dollar QG is just the economic impact of marbling, but uh, it bulls rank exactly the same for dollar QG as they would for marbling EPD. So it, it's really uh, taking up unnecessary space on, on screens and, and documents. Uh, also, dollar YG is, is heavily influenced by fat, as is the USDA yield grade equation, fat ribeye and carcass weight. All those values are included both in the individual EPDs, but also in uh, dollar F and dollar B. Also on May 31st, we'll provide updated models for dollar F and dollar G, which are components of dollar B. Uh, dollar F is feedlot profit, which represents gains in feed efficiency as well as rate of gain. Also, dollar G is grid merit or, or additional profit. Uh, gain through marketing cattle on a grid, and also for dollar EN, which is cow energy cost. So higher numbers represent uh, savings in energy costs due to lower mature cow size and lower milk. One of the things that, that producers may notice is that all the dollar values will be uh, now rounded to whole dollar units rather than, than to pennies. Uh, th that seems more practical and, and more uh, reflective of the precision to which these things are calculated, and so rounding them to the whole dollar still allows you to rank cattle and see differences without taking up again a lot of unnecessary space that really doesn't add new information. All these updates will be uh, put into practice on May 31st of this year. Uh, that's the typical time when we provide updates and changes into Angus genetic evaluations as we have in, in years past. Uh, that allows producers to take some time to, to study the new values, to understand the, the ranges, the percentiles, uh, learn a little bit more about them, ask questions about them uh, to AGI staff, AAA regional managers, uh, so that uh, when the fall comes around and, and marketing begins and selection begins again, uh, they'll have a, a good grasp on these values. Another uh, feature of the new Angus evaluation is the potential to, to calculate a, a combined index. Uh, that was part of the uh, uh, action items identified in the 2016 Long Range Strategic Plan that was approved unanimously by the Board of Directors at that time. And we've heard a number of, of industry segments from commercial cow-calf producers to Angus seed stock breeders ask about the ability uh, to combine uh, the terminal side with the maternal side of production. And, and in fact, Angus breeders have been doing that for years as they uh, pr practice our selection using EPDs and, and the dollar values that we have today. And, and so while we won't produce, uh, produce a, a dollar C, a combined index, on May 31st, we are making it available uh, for breeders that want to, to have it on their own cattle. Uh, so for Angus breeders can go into AAA login and into custom animal reports and check a box where if they want to produce a, a list of their own animals with the dollar C values calculated, uh, it's simply just dollar M plus dollar uh, B times a multiplier. Uh, but that, that uh, information will be available for Angus breeders to do on their own. 
And the educational materials will also describe how to calculate dollar C from dollar M and dollar B. Uh, so if producers want to do that on their own or other parts of the industry want to do that, they're available to do it. It just won't be an official number that's published on Angus registration certificates, on Angus uh, animal lookups on the website, for example. Then furthermore, uh, a year from now, in, in the end of May, 1st of June of 2020, uh, then our plan is to uh, release dollar C as an official value. The combined index would be calculated on all animals at that time. If you have additional questions uh, about Angus indexes, all this information is available at angus.org slash index, uh, or you can uh, contact AGI staff to uh, find out more information about these new tools.